My name is Pat Snyder and I joined the foundation in 1995 as its di first director of major gifts and grants. And about a year and a half later, I was promoted to the executive director of the foundation and continued in that role until 2001. One of my favorite memories of beginning at the college was actually when I came to interview for the position. Um, I had been living in Hawaii for 30 years and I flew uh, over to interview and for this n position of Director of Major Gifts and Grants that sounded like a perfect next career step for me and was just blown away coming into Santa Barbara, seeing the community, seeing the campus with its ocean views and its first class facilities and then uh, being interviewed not only by Peter McDougall who was so impressive as the longtime president of the college but at the foundation I was interviewed by many or most of the leading philanthropists of Santa Barbara who were serving on the foundation board at the time. Uh, I was interviewed by Paul Ridley Tree who was president of the foundation board at the time by Jim Scheinfeld and Wally Drew who were co-chairing the 21st century campaign for the college uh, Helen Pododi um, and Eli Luria uh, and I came away from those interviews just thinking oh my word I have never seen a community college that had this kind of community highest level community support and leadership as well as the charismatic leadership of Peter McDougall and I was at that time I decided I think I really want this job I think I'm really ready to join a college of this caliber from the first minute I got here I knew I had made the right decision and one of the things that made those early months and years wonderful for me is that I was brand new to a community where I knew no one except uh, the executive director at the foundation who had hired me and P President Peter McDougall. But because President McDougall was already so well known and beloved in the community, when I would attend events with him or as he introduced me to the community, to the board members, to the donors, I was welcomed with such open arms and embrace because I was with Peter McDougall. And so it made my entry into Santa Barbara and the college uh, a very easy and exciting time for me. Uh, I remember President McDougall would always want us to be represented at most of the nonprofit gala events that fill the calendar in Santa Barbara. When you have a community college with such a variety of outstanding programs, outstanding faculty, no matter what a donor's possible area of interest, we had something to offer. They could support the theater, they could support food service, they could support the vocational programs, uh, the new digital arts lab, uh, enhancement of the physical facilities, student scholarships. So I always felt like we had this huge array, this menu of oppor giving opportunities for the community and it was, I saw my role as a matchmaking role, getting to know, once I knew the college and its programs and needs, and then getting to know the donors and making a match that was satisfying to the donors. It enabled them to give to and support a program, uh, a purpose that matched with their passion and values and interests. We raised 25.5 million, which at the time was the largest campaign a community college in the country had ever accomplished. We went on over the next few years to lead not only number one in the state of California out of 106 community colleges, we raised more money consistently than any of the other community colleges and we were recognized nationally several years. We were number two and number four and number one one year for a single campus 
uh, for the amount of money we raised in those years. And in 2000, we actually were awarded the Case uh, award for exemplary performance by a public community college in the country. So wherever you walk on campus, you see the names, you see the Paul Ridley, the Ridley Tree Business Communications Building, you see the Faye Blonde Forum, you see the Jerkowitz Theater. Uh, from one end of the East Campus to the West Campus, the names of these people are here and students are using and enjoying the facilities that they help to fund. Likewise with programs and scholarships, many of them endowed scholarship funds which will go on in perpetuity to provide opportunities to new generations of students at the college. Um, and I think they built a foundation, a legacy, a history that will continue to enrich everyone that follows them.